Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nark. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're playing One Room by Dominic. Um, Dominic suggested um, a load of maps over on the live stream recently, so I've added them all to the queue. Thank you very much for all your suggestions. But this one, like I say, is called One Room, and the description is just three dots. So, not sure what we're going to anticipate from this, but without further ado, let us jump into the map and um, see what we can find, I guess. Alrighty then. Welcome to the future. This okay. next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. That conversion gel? So low speed gel and conversion gel. Okay, we have a cube which is covered in conversion gel. Weighted gel. cubes calibrated. It's conversion gel. No, it's not. It's um, not repulsion gel. I don't think of the proper name. What's the proper name? Conductive panel. So we're using B mod. So what happens if we break the laser beams? It causes the cube to respawn. This is a bit like the puzzle in Portal Stories Mel, right? Where you slide the thing down the ramp, I guess. So, let's just do that. Like so. That allows us to get into here. And, not sure what that did. But, are we trapped? Um. Yeah, I think this is a trapping situation, Joe. This, uh, sorry, not Joe. You're not Joe. You're Dominic. Uh, yeah, trapping situation, unfortunately. Uh, we have no way of open getting that back through there. <sighs> okay, so. Um, I'm not sure what that does either, because there is no signage there either. Unfortunately. And um, that's speed gel, conversion gel. Speed gel. I'll just call it speed gel, not conversion gel. Jeez. Come on, knock. So I guess that's going to give me. Oh, oh, okay. Ah! So that's. Oh, well. Rip me. Well, and rip again. Alright, so doing that, it looks like it's done the... Um, doing that has done the that, but yeah, we're not meant to do it here. And there is... Hmm. Alright, let's pretend we didn't do that right now. And um, we're going to try and do this... A bit quicker, maybe. If we can. Also, I can probably get up there now, but I don't. I don't think I should have all this gel here at the moment, which is worrying. All right, so let's do it from here. Should buy me more time, right? Yeah, no, I can't. It's a trapping situation. All right, I'm going to restart because um, I don't think I should have that gel there yet. So. Let's restart the map and let's see if we can find the proper way to do it. Welcome to the future. This next test applies yeah, the principles I don't know if that needs of a momentum or to movement what? through portals. If it's the laws of physics off as well. no longer apply in the future, God help you. So we've ascertained that we can turn that off. Safe plate there, but we can't use that at the moment. Uh, that's X. Uh, 
It's a flip panel. I don't see a way that I can actually progress right now. Unfortunately. I don't know if that needs to be permanent, but I mean we can we can try hitting this. Um But, yeah, I mean, that just does that. So, I don't know, I think, um... I think the map may be broken. Weighted cubes calibrated. As there's... I mean, I don't know what turns that on right there. There's no way past this light bridge right here. And this is done that. So let's assume that that shouldn't be flashing. That should ping us back out to over here. Because then I could do like this and I could get over to this cube up here, right? And then from here, I think I would do up to here. What did that do? It gave us another cube. Okay. Oh, but then that's active. This, I, I don't know, either I'm missing something obvious, or I feel the map is very, it's broken in some way, shape, or form. So, let's Welcome see what, what is future. actually... This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. So, what? What? I don't understand what turns that faith plate on. What turns the faith plate on? Welcome to the future. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Is it just a combination that once you press... I have to say, LB would be having a field day with this right now. Because there is no signage. And... I have no idea what's doing that. I'm 
Not a clue. Is it the gel button? Dude, this this is this is this is the biggest issue with doing this right now. Welcome to the future. No signage. You don't this know what to do. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If That's the why signage is so critical. No longer apply in the future. God help you. Now that didn't do that before. I swear down. That did not do that before. Also, I've noticed, sorry if my desktop audio has been rather loud in this video, in the last few videos, guys. I realized um, I didn't turn it down from earlier on in OBS. I swear down, I will go back and watch the footage, but that did not reset. That bugged out for me. Right, okay. Now that we understand what controls that faith plate, let's try and... Solve the, the test future. then, shall we? All right, so. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. All right, so do that and that. I swear down, though, that button went off earlier on. I was still stood in here and that faith plate was... Still not turned on. I don't know. Anyway, finally, progress. Right, so now we've done that. Now we can go up to here, right? And we're going to go just to save time from walking. All right, so that opens the bottom area here. Let's save some. Let's save this progress. Uh. Okay. Save the progress. Uh, what do we do now? What do we do now? Where's X? That is X, isn't it? Do you have to slide it down the slide again? Possibly. Yeah, that's what we're going to need to do. Uh, okay. So there's a second cube. And uh, then we need to go back up to the top again. Uh, I'll just fire blue. So I want an orange portal down here. All right, now we have two cubes. Weighted cubes calibrated. Uh, save time. Picking that up. I'll just do that. And that. Okay, that turns a laser off and gives us another laser. To which we're going to do... Uh... That I guess. And where is Squiggly Line? Hey, Squiggles. Do you know the cube we can get somewhere? Maybe we do that. But, hold on. Uh, 
Um... Wait a minute, all of this isn't for the exit. That just does our panel. What am I doing? Alright, so... We do... That and that. No, we don't. We do that down to there, that down to there, and then we point this one back over to here, right? And then we just fling back over to there and set it all up again. Ah, uh, orange. All right, well, um, post-map analysis. Um, and I'm sure if LB is, is watching this map, he will totally agree. This is why it is crucial for players. Uh, sorry, how I for glass finish. Shut glass. Um, this scenario is... A prime example of why signage and ant lines are so important. To me, I didn't see how that faith plate turned on, so it kind of like made the first 12 minutes of that video pretty redundant. Uh, if it wasn't for that, uh, the map would have been solved in like five, in five minutes. Um, so signage and ant lines are crucial. Please, please, please put ant lines and signage into maps, guys. They are really, really important. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any match sites to play, please leave them in the comments or head over to my Discord where you'll find my map suggestion channel. A link to that is in the description. But until next time, I've been Knock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.